So she's interested. I mean, she, you know, it sounds like when you talk about ADHD and treatment, um, she's not tried any natural herbal remedies. But as far as prescription medicine, if, if this child's evaluation turns out that he does have ADHD, it sounds like she wants to, uh, medicine as a last resort. Right, you heard that. So, of course, what we would talk to her about is, you know, what some of the natural remedies or herbal treatments might be if her, you know, if the scores turn out to be high for ADHD. So that's what we'll do. you know where the natural health store is here? It used to be Native Herb Store on Union Chapel Road. They're really good about uh, going through with parents different treatments for ADHD. There's one called Calm Child that's good for focus and hyperactivity. There's one called Attentive Child that's good for focus. They have different herbs like some of the evening, like even primrose oil, some of the omega-3 oil, some of the fish oils, flax oil. It's just medicines that naturally help you focus. They taste good. Kids like them. So that, that would be a definite route to go. And, and then you and I would just follow up down the road a month or two once we got this ball rolling and you just kind of catch me up on how things are going. Mm -hmm. okay. Does that sound reasonable? Mm -hmm. okay. So what I'll do when I fill out this blue sheet and, and I'll just step out and put the diagnosis so that you can take that to the school. Okay. Okay? For it, you know. uh, I work on the Catawba Reservation, you know, and I've been doing that for 12 years. And, you know, I, I go there once a month, you know, they don't have a pediatrician, so a lot of what I see is the chronic medical conditions for children. So I see a fair amount of ADHD there. And I'll tell you there, it's not as common for them to pick the natural herbal remedies. It's more common here by far. I don't know why that is, but, but that's true.